he constantly belittles you. Yes. And criticizes you. Yes. And puts you down. Yes. Seems to me like you're a pretty good target. Yes. The Christmas tree has been up for five years. He won't take it down. Mm -hmm. Dr. Phil, if you look at the Christmas tree, still has all the ornaments on it. Mm -hmm. She has to put the ornaments away a certain way. So if they don't get taken off the tree, none of us can touch them. Mm -hmm. She has to do that. And you guys have a division of labor in the relationship, in the marriage, right? Everybody does. Everybody kind of works out a division of labor. You're going to do this, you're going to do that, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. Who's in charge of keeping the dwelling habitable? I'm in charge. I have to do everything because Ernie doesn't help with anything. And, and I'm, I'm, I am so overwhelmed. So nobody's doing it. Right, because the little bit that gets done, I do. Where, where, show me the little bit that... Well... Because nobody's doing anything. Nobody's cleaning this house. Right? Well, I sent, I sent your staff pictures, and there, there are times where I do. Right now, it's a, you know, not a lot getting done. I, because I'm living like a single mom. I have to do everything myself, and... By the time I get home from work, with, I have hypothyroidism, I suffer from fatigue issues, I'm exhausted. Uh -huh. My mother had hypothyroidism. She raised three children and took care of her husband and took care of the house. It was never in that shape. Well, we asked you why you weren't cleaning the house. Right. And, and you said, like, he's supposed to take care of the outside, and it, which looks like a tornado right. came through, mm -hmm. and that you were going to take care of the inside. He's sure not taking care of the outside. Right. And you gave us a list of reasons that you're not mm -hmm. taking care of the inside. You said, well, I'm a type B person, just kind of disorganized. Yes. You said, Einstein, he was a genius and didn't clean up around his house. <laughs> right? I did. I, what I said is that Einstein had a, lived it, you know, was not organized. You know what I just said? Yes. You said you have ADD and stress and chronic fatigue mm -hmm. and that you're emotionally and physically drained and yes. that you just need time to focus and that you can't work and clean 12 years of stuff and that you're just not good at cleaning. I, I really struggle with organization. I really do. I have a difficult time with that. I have 12 years worth of stuff. I have the children's clothes from when they were babies till now. I have their toys. Okay, let me be real clear. Okay. Are you trying to justify this? No, I'm just trying to explain why it looks like that. I mean, it looks like that I don't ever clean. Yes. And that's, but that's not the truth. Well, I hear what you say, mm -hmm. but I see what I see. Now, mm -hmm. you, you two, this is, this is your daughter's room. Yes. And behind that door is a bathroom. Yes, sir. And she can't go through that door because of all the trash, so they leave the hall light on so she can go at night. Yeah, I got eyes. You can't get in the bathroom, right? You can't get through the door. Yes, sir. Okay, and this is the oldest girl's room. No, that, there's the uh, dining room, oh, the, who, what's hell, called the playroom. Yeah, yeah. It just kind of all runs together, right? Yes, sir. Now, it didn't always look like this, right? Right, it did not always look yeah, like this. Yeah, because you guys built this house. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's just mm -hmm. look at the kitchen here. Th this was a... Beautiful I mean, look at this. This yes. built a beautiful home. This is a beautiful kitchen here. Beautiful counters, lots of space and light and cabinets and double sinks and everything. Three, I guess, I can see. And then look at it now. You, you, you see this, and then mm -hmm. you, you look at the way that this place looks now. It's just, come on, seriously? And I think this is a... This is the kitchen now. And this is a, a direct representation of the stress and emotional abuse that I've been under. I mean, I feel like I can't even function. 